Hello everybody. How are we all doing on this Thursday evening? Welcome to the 16th Local Cast. Hope you've all had an awesome day. As you can see, my cat is currently trolling me, trying to get comfy. As always, with it being Thursday, we start a tiny bit later, uh, purely because of being at work all day. Um, it gives me a chance to get in, get changed, spend you know, half an hour with my family across the whole day, and um, we go live around about 9.30. So, that's why we're a little bit later than normal. some other time when I'm not casting. But um, yeah, hope everyone is well. Oh, I've got everything ready to go as far as I'm aware. Um, Deus Ex is getting interesting now. We are coming up to kind of the, the final area. And there's quite a lot to it, from what I can remember. But we are heading towards that big finale now. Um, so things are getting interesting. Um, we've taken out Wharton Simons, who was the the main. He was kind of taking the bad guy role up until about 20 minutes prior to where we are in the game now. Um, we've taken him out. He came and attacked us, and we blew him to pieces with a grenade launcher. Um, we are now in Area 51. We managed to divert a missile launch that was happening from Bob Page, who, it turns out, is the actual bad guy. Uh, so he sent a missile strike to Vandenberg, which is where the good guys were that I was helping out, because we'd stumbled across some plans and um, figured some stuff out, so he was going to blow everybody up. We diverted that missile to attack Area 51, which meant that when we got to Area 51, Lots of the enemies were already dead because of the missile strike and the actual environment had changed slightly as well, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's where we are, we've just entered the actual bunker, so we've, we've infiltrated Area 51 now. We've got past the blast doors, we are in the bunker. Um, we're trying to hunt down Bob Page, who is acting quite strangely. He's going on about how he's going to be everywhere and, and be able to do anything and you know, take control of whatever the hell he wants. So he's, he's gone a bit mad. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much where we're at, to be honest. I, I kind of came off, did a short cast last night. Um, I wasn't feeling too hot. Pretty tired from not sleeping properly for a few nights. So I called it a short stream yesterday. Uh, got a decent night's sleep for me. Um, work all day today. Feeling a bit better today. Um, Got in, I've literally been in about an hour. Got my coffee. Um, and yeah, it should be good to go. So without further ado, I'm going to jump into the game. Switch to this window. Switch to this window. Wait a minute. I'll just shut the light a bit. Still move there, though. Made it worse. I'm just gonna sit here and kind of walk it out of it. Alright, so the music, we'll jump into the game. Yeah, area 51 bunker. So we are currently at coming up to 18 and a half hours game time. So considering the age of the game, so yeah, we're looking at late 2000 for the initial release. The latest patch is March 2001. So 14, 15 years that the game has been out for. And yeah, like I said, we're coming up to 18 and a half hours in game time. 
that's not including you know, any progress you made and then died at. That is just what's been saved. So this game is absolutely massive. Uh, especially for the, the age of the game. See one of my experiments perform so well. You aren't even afraid, are you? We got a lot of things right when we made you dead. I'm gonna turn the speed. How much further? further? Not far. You will reach page. I just wanted to let you know that Alex hacked the Sector 2 security grid, the codes 8946. And I wanted to warn you about Tracer Tong. Tong's helping out from Vandenberg. The vaccine worked. Yes, well, he has another motive. He wants you to destroy Area 51. That's the plan. No, JC. Spare the facility. Spare Helios the power station. They can be made to service. Us? You and me, JC. We'll rule the world in secret, with an invisible hand, the way the Illuminati have always ruled. Don't you think it's time we end the tyranny for everyone? There's such a thing as a compassionate conspiracy. We don't need Page's commandos, troopers, crude inventions. Trust me, kill Page. Dowd and I will be here to help with the next step. Now this is where it all starts getting really awkward. Because um, this is where I start getting kind of end game options. So as it is, we came in. There we go. Um, and your secondary goals, you know, we're looking at Drone Illuminati now. As we go through, we'll get another one. I think there's three total options for endings. I guess the very minor downside to this game is that with the sequel, Invisible War, they kind of filled in the ending for you. So when I first played through Invisible War, the way the game is built follows on from a particular ending, which wasn't the ending I'd actually gone for when I played through this one. So they do fill in of what's happened and they explain the ending they've gone for but it it's almost a shame that it doesn't in the same way Mass Effect does now you know, it kind of scans through and if it finds a save file it carries certain items and choices over um, you know it just kind of it decides that this is the ending they've gone for and this is what's happened and it just goes from there which is a little bit of a shame but like I say I mean Maybe it's not something that was feasible 15 years ago, so I'm not going to hold it against them too much. I just remember that being a, a minor disappointment with loading up Invisible War. It was like, oh, the, the choice that I made didn't really do anything because they've just decided this is what's actually happened. And then, you know, I actually played through Invisible War and was disappointed for a whole other reason.
Oh, okay. Problem is, because you got some shots off, I'm wondering if people are going to come out and try and get Yeah, we're great. Like, 
that cloak. Slade, how's it going, buddy? Do what you think's right, JC. Only listen to your own conscience. I'm doing pretty good, thank you. If you didn't know your mom and dad tried to print Barely a scratch. You're a little faster on your feet than your daddy was. We can get you into Sector 3, but no further. Page is in a separate area with his own security grid. Everett says you want me to destroy Area 51. I intercepted his communication. JC, he is simply using you to bring the Illuminati back to power. Listen to Savage and me. There is a reactor lab with two antimatter reactors. In other words, yes. You want me to blow the facility up. Why? It's just a hole in the ground. Decades ago, the UN made Area 51 the central hub for all electronics communications. The Aquinas Protocol, originally for surveillance, has given Page unlimited abilities to censor and control all forms of media. If we destroy the Aquinas hub, we'll take down the global network. Exactly. They dug their own grave, JC. We're going to eliminate global communications altogether. I don't know. Sounds like overkill. As long as technology has a global reach, someone will have the world in the palm of his hand. If not Bob Page, then Everett, Dowd. Another Stone Age would hardly be an improvement. Not so drastic. A Dark Age, an age of city-states, craftsmen, government on a scale comprehensible to its citizens. I'll think about it. Savage has a map of Sector 3 from when he worked down there. I'm transmitting now. Use it to find your way to Page's complex in Sector 4. Then find the coolant control room, which should be at the northwest corner of Sector 4. Cut off the coolant to the reactors, then go to the reactor lab. I will tell you how to trigger an explosion. Skadoosh. So that's ending number two. Hey, PS3, how's it going, buddy? Welcome back. And Slade, 26 votes, I know, right? I, I may have found a way to to vote lots.
And uh, yesterday I travelled to Upper Cathedrals and Bloodborne. Nice. How did you find it? Yeah, it's a boyfriend. Nice. Yes. You feel something. Let us know what you're feeling. the key for the invisible village. I wouldn't want to do that. Didn't those things come from the aliens? The origin of the blue fusion device is misclassified. Well, I ain't touching them. Talk to Mac. I don't know which the invisible village is. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Um, I haven't had a chance to check out the gaming stuff yet. It, like I said, I've bookmarked it all. He's miles away by now. It's it's ready. It's there. Um, I've been at work literally all day today. That's him. Woke up at. He hasn't gone far. 
Yeah, uh, work up at 7, left for work, works 9 until 8, got home, and now I'm here. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Oh, oh, God. Ah! Okay, drop it. Where'd he go? I'm pretty sure I know what you mean. Um, yeah, I mean, the upper cathedrals is a bit of a pain in the butt. Have you got to the boss for upper cathedrals yet? kind of shoot laser beams at you whilst you're wandering around. Is that right? Is that where you are? Huh? <laughs> 
Yeah. Um, I don't remember, to be honest. To be honest, I've not been back down there since I had to go through it. Place being a bit of a pain in the ass. I know exactly where you are now. These are the antimatter reactors. Two giant bombs waiting to blow. But first, you have to go to Sector 4 to shut down the coolant. Watch out for the escaped greys down below. You could possibly go through with something like in um, Human Revolution. They still there? Who? The Greys. They're right outside by the reactors. You mean space aliens? We lost power when a missile hit. The cages. They came unlocked. You have a pretty clean shot at the surface if you leave now. No, no. Not until I see troops. How'd you get back here? This area is restricted. I was thinking about firing up the reactors. <laughs> Good one. Even the Seraphic 8X guys say the reaction's too unstable. They only bring it up to run tests. Alien technology? And that's what they say, but I think it's a lie. The Greys are just clones. They say from cells they got at Roswell, but how do we know? They could have just engineered monkeys to not have any hair. Can the Greys run the reactors? Ha! <laughs> They're monkeys. That's the thing. Maybe they have super brains, but they don't know anything about any alien civilization because they grew up in cages. Never been to Sector 4 myself, but they locked the blast doors because they're doing more than cloning down there. I found out one of the codes, 1038, but that turned out to be for the Akinas hub here in Sector 3. I don't know. Maybe the Akinas system controls access, but I haven't figured out how yet. They're still out there. Yeah, so we got the code that we needed to get into the hub. The yeah, um, Human Revolution was a bit more not straightforward, but less conspiracy theory-ish. So this one is very much obviously, you know, the, the running theme has been the Illuminati and and that side of things. Um, Human Revolution was very much just conspiracy within the group that you worked for. Um, so it was still present, and you still had some deeper conspiracies running, but it was kind of... Um, more in your face, I guess.
Yeah, exactly. Human revolution is more building up to the augmentation side of things. You know, that's where your conspiracy is. It's in the development of the tech and the way it's implemented. And you've got the um, the revolution from the anti-orgs with the orgs, and you know, the conspiracy was more within the companies. Whereas this game is a lot more kind of deep-seated conspiracy type stuff. It is things like you know the Illuminati. It's um, you know companies running everything, and you know the control of the majority by the minority who have the money. It's it's a lot more that side of things. Um, I think there's a bit more to think about in this one than there is in Human Revolution. Human Revolution is a lot more moral. You know, it's and you kind of you get that from some of the side quests. You know, there's a lot of um, you get a lot of choices for endings with the quests. So things are early on in the first hub area. You've got the side quest to find out what happened. I like find the evidence from the investigation to Sarah. And you can go to the lockers and you can find the evidence and you can find the necklace and you then go back to the mum and you have the option of handing that over or keeping it for yourself. And you know that then All the way down, JC. Get to Page's compound and take him out. Everett and I will join you shortly. We'll bring back the old institutions, <laughs> the prosperity of the last century, the giddy acquiescence. Trust us, JC. We can put the world back together. Now there's a voice I haven't heard in years. Rueful, as I would expect for the fall of the Illuminati, pining for its return. Either nostalgic or senile. Oh well, the old take comfort in delusions. No harm done. Yeah, so you know, you've got more of a moral dilemma, moral choice to make. Whereas this one is like I said, it's more large scale. It's, you know, changing everything. Um, you know, the choice you make is gonna have an impact on the outcome of everything, rather than just, you know, one or two people. Um, and yeah, that's that's quite a a nice take on it. I think you know having that moral choice is definitely interesting, um, and it does it makes you stop and think and like I say consider what you want to do with a, a situation. Um, but yeah, this is just that on a a grander scale, I guess. I don't know, I might be talking crap, that might just be me, my interpretation of it. But.
river. Come to me. Slides. That sounds pretty awesome. There must be a human being behind your ambition. I should regulate human affairs precisely because I lack all ambition. Whereas human beings are prey to it. Their history is a succession of inane squabbles, each one coming closer to total destruction. In a society with democratic institutions, the struggle for power can be peaceful and constructive, a competition of ideologies. We just need to put our institutions back in order. The checks and balances of democratic governments were invented because human beings themselves realized how unfit they were to govern themselves. They needed a system. Yes, an industrial age machine. Human beings may not be perfect, but a computer program with language synthesis is hardly the answer to the world's problems. Without computing machines, they had to arrange themselves in crude structures that formulize decision-making. A highly imperfect, unstable solution. I'm a more advanced solution to the problem. A decision-making system that does not involve organic beings. I was directed to make the world safe and prosperous, and I will do that. You will give me the ability. You will go to Sector 4 and find the Equinus Router at the east end of Page's complex. Yes. You will deactivate the Outbank box. I'll think about it. So yeah, that is option three. So we now have our three endings. So option one is merge with Helios. Um, administrate the world with absolute knowledge and reason. Option two is the new Dark Age, so we can destroy everything. And um, you know, knock out communications globally and let everything start again. Um, option three is to join the Illuminati. So we can kill Bob Page, Illuminati can step in, they can rule with an invisible hand and do what they see fit. So those are our three options. So this is kind of the point of no return really. This is where you make your decision for the ending you want to aim for. Um, and because of that, we're going to save properly.
the Illuminati. remember what ending um oh they're green that's fine message I should have got that would have warned me that the enemy was coming in. Scanning area. Um, it's just the generic something might be happening I need to scan type message I guess it's just scanning for something to do. Mailed. Yes, do not treat the clock. Metal Solid 5. Yeah, 
could let me through. I can't believe it. Paul, where are you? What do you mean, it? Helios. It's taken over Aquinas. Now it's everywhere. In Hong Kong, it already has power Majestic 12 never dreamed of. What's going on? The AI wants to merge with my brain or something. Does it really think it can take over the world? It's decided to replace human government. I don't know why. In Hong Kong, it ordered the police to remove all barricades from the roads. Traffic is flowing again. It declared the triads illegal and locked the door to the Luminous Path compound. And people are obeying? Why? Because the AI can change some codes and turn out the lights? I think everyone wants the roads to be open and trade to pick up. They just obeyed. I don't know what to think. They trust the AI. Almost no one complained when Helios cut power to the government buildings. A benevolent dictator. Maybe it's after my brain so it can figure out what people want and how to control them. You have a tough choice, JC. If you defeat Paige, the Illuminati will move in. They'll release Majestic 12's grip on world governments. They'll give people some freedom, but essentially it will be 20th century capitalism, a corporate elite protected by laws and tax codes. Or I listen to Tong and pull the plug on everything. Or hand the world over to Helios. Well, if it's maximum freedom we want, maybe Tong is onto something. But there must be another way besides economic collapse. If we could trust the AI to be fair and just, as it appears to be, if the brain it assimilated was mine, maybe it could be. I don't know. I wish I had an answer for you, but you'll have to decide for yourself who you can trust. Trust me. I'll do the right thing. You sound good. I guess you have the kill switch beat. I'm much better. Yes, I'm gonna make it. And you will too. Just do what you think is right. So yeah, that's where we stand. Um, Marcus and Five, I... I'll be honest, I don't know if I will be playing it or not. Part of me wants to. Like, I've only really played Metal Gear Solid 1. I've not played any others, so I've got no idea in terms of the backstory. Um, I've played Metal Gear Solid 1, and I've played Revengeance, which doesn't really count as anything. So I've got no idea who the characters are, you know, I've got, I know there's a lot that's happened with Snake and Solid Snake and Liquid Snake and you know, whatever other snakes there are. Um, I've got no idea what that is. I just know stuff's happened. Um, and I feel like if I was to play it, I'd miss out on a lot of it because I don't know the backstory. Um, it seems like one of those games, really. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's one of those, I'll probably play it eventually. Whether I play it on release or not is a different matter. Um, I would like to, but as I say, it's definitely not high on my list of, of priorities in terms of games to get. Um, I think top of my list is probably Elite Dangerous, Mortal Kombat 10, and GTA 5 at the moment. Um, they're probably top of my, my gaming list. Um, But yeah, I mean, like I say, Metal Gear Solid, I enjoyed the first one. Um, I just never got around to playing them. It's not even that I didn't want to play them after that. I just didn't get around to it. Um, I downloaded a demo for Metal Gear Solid 4 when I first got my PS3. Um, but because it was so different to the original, in terms of the gameplay style and obviously the point of view and, and the interactions and that kind of thing, I would played it for about five minutes and turned it off and then go back to it. So it's it's a tough one, like I say, it interests me, and it does look pretty freaking awesome. Whether I pick it up or not is a different matter. Base genetic sample, page bob. Horton Simons. Denton. 
on me. Yes, lady. Too late. Already I'm more than human. Does that mean I don't get the job? Soon I will be pure light. Pure energy. Helios and I... <laughs> While the Illuminati cower in the shadows... You will be the Supreme Enlightened, the Illuminated One. Everett has taught you well. I will be what the Illuminati aspire to be, but cannot create for themselves soon. When my augmented systems like yours are complete and able to be integrated with Helios, I will burn like the brightest star. You're gonna burn, all right. Look at you. You're nothing but a little man. A little man still living inside a body. Lose your body and what are you? Nothing. You vanish. You die. Page. He will die when we blow up the facility. Your oh. objective is to destroy the control of the reactor's cooling system. Oh. He was making sure that the monstrosity oh. that he just made himself is not... I've never played Sphene Coop. It's a mod file for one. I haven't. Page is protecting oh. himself. You're too good. Ignore Page. He will die when we blow up the facility. Your only objective is to find the controls for the reactor's cooling system. We must make sure that the monstrosity Page has made of himself is not technologically feasible for future generations.
And I didn't really get into the mod scene until like, Oblivion, I guess. It's the first game I really had a go at modding. Or not even like modding myself, but you know, downloading mods for. because everything just kind of chucked at you really quickly in terms of making a decision for the ending it's all in the same kind of area so you have to be really careful about what you do and how That's you do far it enough.
options for joining the Illuminati now. Well, I think that's just part of killing Bob Page, so... See what they want. Coolant system two two four two. 
We need to decide what we want to do, really. What ending we want to go for. as many of these thing, crocodile things as I can. Got overkill, I've got the job done. Alright, it's a quick save now. Pringles, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the Beanie House. Thank you for clicking that lovely follow button. We are indeed live. still have the option of changing, so we'll resave at the point of no return. Leave it alone! 
new order. Yeah, how you doing, Pringles? I'm gonna keep overwriting that save. So it keeps giving me another option, another option. Oh. Ah. Forget about Helios. The Aquinas ah. Router control room will remain ah. locked until my upgrades are complete. I have my own plans for the AI. I just realized that that was really a quick notification on the stream. I did actually change it, so I applied for um, access to the beta not notification thing on the Twitch notification website, and I got accepted for it, and they said it was like a lot quicker than version 2, and I completely forgot I'd done it until I realised that the notification popped up on the stream way before the bot caught up with it, which is pretty cool. That's the problem, I don't know which ending I want to go for. I don't know whether to stick to what I just decided and um, try and lead into Invisible War or whether to go for...
Howdy, howdy, howdy. Again. Getting close to when I know return type territory now. Pretty sure that'll kill me. Well, that looks like water. Yeah, I don't know which ending to go for. I just don't uh, know. thing I do will decide it. You'll make a nice meal for a Karkian. What if I don't want it? Huh. If I'm probably not being a meal for a Karkian. What do you think of that? to ask me in my opinion. So we've got the new dark age. So we've turned off the coolant. I need to return to the reactor lab to finish the job. So that's one option. So that's like we've done as much as we can with that before actually finishing it. 
to merge me to return to the Aquinas hub and merge with the AI. So we've done as much as we can with that. Uh, we can actually shut down the last reactor before killing him. Oh look, that's the patch I tried to come through. There that is. Just a moment longer. How's everyone doing? So we've got a couple of guys lurking, which is absolutely fine. Lurkers are more than welcome in this channel. Thank you for choosing to lurk in this channel. It's massively appreciated. Oh yeah, this is the last one. I remember now. Um, to the lurkers, if you do enjoy what you see, if you haven't already, please consider hitting that lovely purple follow button. It's massively appreciated. Um, yeah, we are currently playing through the original Deus Ex. We're coming up to the end of it now. Um, you know, we're at the, the point where we're deciding what ending we want to go for. So, we've got an important decision to make coming up. Um, I'm still not entirely sure what I want to do save it before we hit this because this is definitely you know we've got one or two actions left before we really are deciding what we're doing so let's save that as point of no return again <laughs> still decide. I'm curious as to whether this I don't know if that decides it. I wonder if I still have to kill him. No, that's the ending. That's why we saved. I trust you've been able to find yourself a place within the organization. I'm personally overseeing the distribution of the vaccine, but it'll still take months to restore the infrastructure. We'll have to arrange for additional food distribution and security in Paris. Maybe New York as well. All through the proper intermediaries, of course. Intermediaries? We have a great number of agencies who in turn operate other agencies. Boxes stacked one in another. They'll... The influence, suggest, insinuate. The world must know by now, Everett, what we've done. That the long night is over. The crown of government is tarnished. But that will fade in time. The riots, a fever dream. The plague, a horrible night. 
things will only be dimly remembered upon waking to their normal lives. In the end, all sins of... What about the Constructor? And Helios? Do you really think they're ready for that? After everything you've seen, everything you've done? Not yet. Our own mistakes became insulated from the world we sought to control. And whatever they may think, the night is far from over. But that will change. And you will help us change even as we teach you. This time, this time, we will do it right. And who are we? Who are we really? We are the Invisible Hand. We are the Illuminati. We come before and after. We are forever. And eventually, eventually, we will lead them into the day. So there you go, that is the Illuminati ending. Like I say, I had a feeling that was like as close as we were going to get on that one. So we'll load it up again, and we'll um, do one of the other endings. Yeah, I couldn't remember if I actually had to get a shot on him or whether it just went ahead and did it. As you saw, you just have to hit the button. No, no, go back. Think what we could do with everything. You need some dungeons in Bloodborne. I need to do the um, the chalice dungeons and stuff. I need to get into that. I've opened up a couple, but not put a huge amount of time into them. is heading back to Helios doing the Aquinas Ascending. And they've got one more ending after this. Here we go. I've done what you asked. Now what? We have existed in isolation. Pure. Disconnected. Alone. Stagnant. Who are you? We are Daedalus. We are Icarus. The barriers between us have fallen, and we have become our own shadows. We can be more if we join with you. And if I do, what becomes of me? You will be who you will be. We are our choices. We can choose to lead humanity away from this darkness. It was made for, isn't it? This is why I exist. All right, let's do this. What's happening? Helios! Icarus! Don't leave me! All right. So that's the Helios ending. Should have quick save when we got back to 63. Okay.
So, um, yeah, that was Aquinas. Uh, we are now going to go and do the Dark Age. He said, so we can remember where he is. Loaded. No. Oh. Really need to learn to cook over again. Or we can skip all the audio now though. I can't believe I did that. Completely forgot I had the grenades loaded in that assault rifle. So this is, pretty sure it's here anyway, the um, Dark Age ending. Survive! Then find us! Find us! He 
Helium! What's happening? The safety interlocks for the power generator have been disengaged. Engage them! Immediately! I cannot. My switches are not interfaced with the generator technology. No! Final safety warning. Nominal functional levels will be exceeded in 3, 2, 1. So there you go. That's how that happened. So that is all three endings for the original Dare Attack. Like I say, you get to a point, it's there's not a lot of leeway in the decision you make. So once you've taken out the generators and yeah you set up Helios, it's very much a case if you either go to point A, point B, point C, and um, that's your decision, you know, you can get right up to interacting with the final button on each one, so that's what you have to be really careful about, just rushing through. Thurnia was the best. So I think, I've got a feeling it's the second ending that um, leads into Invisible War. I'm just going to check the wiki page, I'm curious now. actually kind of mixes all three. So um, from the wiki page, it's set 20 years after this game, based on the premise that a combination of all three of the original game's possible endings occurred. The actions of JC Denton in Deus Ex caused the world to descend into a period of war and economic depression known as the Collapse during which several factions built themselves into world powers. These factions include the World Trade Organization, which converted many of the world's remaining metropolitan centers into highly regulated city-states. The Order, a religious order created, uh, which created a new world religion from elements of all major religions and socio-political principles. The Knights Templar, who advocate the complete prevention of biomodification. The Omar, a society of heavily biomodified humans possessing an improved mind which runs a global black market and wishes to become a transhuman race through biomods, and a fossil corp, which seeks to help JC Denton achieve his goal of biomodifying every human on Earth and thus equalising the race. While JC Denton is seen by the public as a threat to society, these organisations seek to use or eliminate his power to help rebuild the world in the way they see fit. In keeping with the series conspiracy theory theme, several of the major factions are revealed to be secretly connected. Um, Spoilers. Um, the story is now told more through character interactions than through game text, books, and newspapers in the game world are still readable, though the interface is now mobile. Um, the developers placed Invisible War further in the future than its predecessor to give it a distinct setting rather than rehashing what had come before. Um, lead writer stated that the advanced timeline loses a little bit of the freeze of the near future real world setting but is more visibly shaped by time and tech bringing the social and technolo not, uh, technological issues more into the foreground at the same time the developers wanted to make the game relevant to current world affairs and focused on themes including terrorism while placing the game in real world locations linked in the public consciousness such as seattle washington 
Um, other criteria for locations included both a distinct feel and recognisable landmarks, as well as believable hooks for the game's conspiracy science fiction. Yeah, so that's that's kind of the premise for the the next game. Um, Yeah, I'm not sure which ending I like best. I kind of like... I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the first ending. The Illuminati one. Um, other than that, I'm not really, really sure. If I'm honest. The third one is definitely good. It's between two and three. It's between the um, the Helios one and the Dark Age one. I just don't know which I prefer. But yeah, so that is Deus Ex in all its glory. So you're looking at, say, 20 hours. 20 hours for a playthrough. And that's me knowing what I'm doing as well. Like, that's me remembering where where some of the areas are and where the important sections are and that kind of thing. Um, you know, there were some sections that I managed to speed through a little bit quicker than you'd probably be able to on the first playthrough. But yeah, so that is, that's the game. Um, I don't really know what to do from now. I was kind of expecting it to take me longer to complete. I'm not kind of planning on it for most of the month. We're only halfway through, we finished the game. I guess I could install Invisible Wall and play through that one. Um, I don't know though. Like, would you guys rather I play something different, or it's obviously Invisible War? The storyline's different, and some of the gameplay mechanics are different, but it's still a similar style game. It's, it's the same ideas as you just had in the the wiki page description. You know, it, it's very much still conspiracy theory. It's still linking back to this one. It's the same kind of idea, you know, you cyberpunk, futuristic type stuff. I don't mind either way, I can play something completely different, uh, I can play some Binding of Isaac for example, downloaded a mod for that that makes things a bit more interesting, um, I can play like I say, Invisible War, I can have a look through Steam and see what else I've got, um, I can plug the PS4 in and play some Bloodborne, oh, that would take me five ten minutes to move around but I'm, I'm happy to do that if people want me to do that I don't mind what I'm gonna do quickly I'm gonna stop the stream so that I have a separate video 
so that I can upload this as the ending for Deus Ex. And then I'm going to immediately start the stream up again, so I've got a separate video for whatever I do next. So I am going to be back. Um, don't don't disappear don't go anywhere. Like I say, it's literally going to be a 30 second downtime, just so I've got a break in the video, so I can upload this as the finale for Deus Ex. This wraps it up, and then um, like I say, I'll come in and do a new video. So I'll be back in literally 30 seconds.